Hi, I'm Randall Rivera, customer service technician here at Geometrix, and I wanted to demonstrate to you today how to replace the pigtail on a G882 magnetometer. Okay, so we're going to go over here, and this is the basic tools that you can you're going to need to do the job. And this is this came with your kit: uh, silicone grease, Allen tool. Um, you'll have to come up with a, a, a standard screwdriver out of your toolkit, and then this came with the altimeter toolkit. Uh, it's an Allen wrench that fits the Allen screws for your altimeter. And I also have a special tool that has the same type of um, Allen uh, tool head on it for ease to make it quicker. So if you have one of these available, then you, then you're one step ahead of the game. Okay. So first thing we're gonna do is come over to the mag and this magnetometer is the altimeter option magnetometer which is the uh, one that I believe you people have. So we'll go ahead and demonstrate first how to remove the altimeter cover so that we can um, begin the process of taking the nose off and slipping this off to gain access to the bulkhead. So the easiest way to go is to take the, altim take the whole magnetometer and carefully set it And make sure you want to be careful. You don't want it to fall over. So set it up like that. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is turn. I'll turn this to you so you can see. This is the altimeter cover, and you'll notice that this is the altimeter window. That the altimeter is um, situated so that the colored portion of it is flat or with the window. This is very important so that it makes a good echo sounding. So that when we're done, we want to make sure that this altimeter is put back with the window and the, and the, and the, um, the flat portion facing uh, so it's parallel with the seafloor. So we grab our tool and we begin to remove So this is a new magnetometer, so you're going to notice that the, all the screws on them have what we call Mary Lube um, uh, anti-seize, marine anti-seize. Whenever you're inspecting or taking apart your magnetometer, you want to make sure that all your hardware has clean anti-seize anti on it. And I'll show you what I mean here. Okay, so now the, the case is, the uh, alternative cover is loose, and I can grab the cable up here and kind of, oops, you want to be careful when you do that because the screws will pop out. Yeah, the screws, and you can see on the screws, it has this white anti-seize material on it. This is what's important to keep the, um, to keep the uh, hardware from seizing up in the, in the salt water. So you guys need to keep keep your eye on that. So I'll set this over here for now. Okay, so here's your altimeter. And what we're going to go ahead and do is remove the altimeter pigtail from the top of the altimeter so that we can continue with taking the cover off. So there's Allen, there's Allen screws, one, two, three, four, in this altimeter uh, pigtail, okay? So we're gonna remove, loosen them all. Okay, so here, you have the altimeter uh, uh, connector, and you can see this is a new altimeter, and it's got uh, it's loaded up pretty good with the with the grease. This is the grease that we use here that you get here. So whenever you are taking these apart, you want to make sure that there's there's a, a layer of grease in there so that the, um, there's a good connection um, with the with the uh, the pins, and um, it ensures a, a, a better seal. 
Now, one of the things I want to make sure that I point out to you is on this altimeter cable, pigtail, there's this green gasket, okay? You want to make sure that you hold on to the hardware, too. Just so that you know, I only had two screws on this, but yours will have four. See this green gasket right here? That has to be there. If it's not there and you put this back together, seawater will leak in and it'll ruin your altimeter and your pigtail, okay? Make sure that that green gasket's there. I can't say that enough. I've seen one come back for that recently. So we'll go ahead and set this over here too. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I don't lose these. And I'm gonna take the mag and I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in a position that's easier to work on. Here you can see I have a, a, a cart with the caddy. So, I'll take the mag, place it over here. Now we have it ready for taking apart the nose. So if you come over here and look, you'll see that there's two clevis pins. Just slide these off. Okay. This, this, and then that removes your, your cable cover. So now that we have the cable cover removed and, and, and we have the, uh, this is the, the pigtail, this is your signal pigtail and this is your altimeter pigtail. This is the piece we want to replace. So what you want to do now is you want to this grab the retaining cord, which this is also very, very important. This retaining cord is the actual uh, uh, component that keeps this nose from coming off. So this has to be in place. If it's not, your nose will come off your all your uh, you will lose your mag, so I can't pay, I can't stress this more enough. So you just grab you grab it and this slides right out. Okay. Now you can grab your flathead screwdriver. Come over here, and another important thing: these we just tighten these in the factory to be snug. We don't over tighten them. We just snug them up, and. We don't, the reason we don't want to over tighten these and then we put these spacers in there is that if you do, you have a tendency to crack the nose right here, right here, and the whole piece will have to be replaced and it's very expensive, okay? So now, now we're ready to slide the nose off. So we'll go ahead and begin to slide the nose off. Keep the cables through. Okay, now we have the nose completely removed. So, your cable, your pigtail cable, is damaged somewhere here in the picture that I saw. It's frayed. So what you're going to do is you're going to obviously remove the pigtail, and then you're going to put your new one on, okay? So let's go ahead and say this is your new pigtail. And you just replace it as such. While we have this open, I wanted to, I wanted to mention something to you about uh, periodic maintenance on this magnetometer. Um, this is called the pencil zinc, and it's a, it's an anode. And what it's used for is to protect your stainless here and then, and your stainless screws here that would normally be here from uh, uh, dissolving. It's a sacrificial anode. So so make sure that this is in good condition. And if it's not, you can wire wire brush it clean uh, and can continue to use it but if it starts to get to the point to where it's 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 decayed enough you'll want to replace it you can get one of these from geometrics for eight dollars us and the whole thing about this is that when you when you replace it is you make sure that you need to use the, the white mary lube grease that we talked about earlier and you just turn it finger tight and then quarter tight with a tool you don't over tighten this because these are soft and they can break off in your bulkhead okay so let's go ahead now and, and begin the process of putting this nose back together. And what we'll do first is um, we'll go ahead and slide the nose back on. Feed, feed our, our cables through. So one thing you'll notice is that 
the, the pigtail has this connector on it. I mean, it has this slider. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that this stays on on the end of your of your cable, so that when you go back and you put it all together, it's um, you don't have to fish it out. So just continue. To shoot there. So what what you can do? There's a little trick. Maybe you can just go. Maybe maybe use a little bit of tape. Just to keep it like that, okay? So we're gonna go ahead now and fish this through. And the pigtail, uh, the cable pigtail comes up through the top, the altimeter through the bottom. Now one of the things I want to point out to you is that these spacers, they're, they, they have to be turned so that they're up like this. Or else the nose won't slide on, okay? If they're down like this, the nose locks up. So make sure that you have these turned up. And then kind of hold them with your thumb, guide it on. And the nose slides on. Notice here through these two holes that the cord, the cord grooves are lined up in these holes, okay? That's important so that when you go ahead to re put your, uh, your cord back in, it slides in easily, okay? So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is, is go ahead and put the cord in, and what you wanna do is start with one end of the cord and push it, push it in, and continue to push it in until it won't go anymore, okay? It doubles in on itself. And then you take the other side. Okay, so that's, that's with the cord then we're going to go ahead and tighten our hardware. Again, snug, not over tight. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and our cable cover. The cable comes back like this, so I'm going to hold it back like that, put the cable cover back on so it lines up, and then simply take my pins and feed them through. And put my cotters on the other side. Make sure you spread these out a little bit so they don't pop out. And now we have our nose back in place. The last thing we have to do is attach the altimeter again and put the altimeter cover on. So in order to do that, I found that the best way is to take the mag again and put it on the floor. This way it's, it's easier to work on. And we're going to go ahead and get our altimeter. Our wrench that we got with our altimeter tool with our altimeter kit and we're gonna go ahead and put this back on so here's where you need to pay attention to a few things again I'm gonna inspect to make sure that my green gasket is there and it hasn't fallen off and I'm going to make sure that um, that there's ample amounts of lube and I should have mentioned that when you put your new when you put your new cable on is that you do want to make sure that the pins on your um, connectors don't do have lube. So make sure that you do that. Okay, I didn't show you, but. So we'll go ahead and put this connector on. This is keyed, so it only goes on a certain way. So it, goes, it snaps in, and then again, you'll put your, your um, Allen screws. You'll have four for the, for the ease of demonstration. I only have two.
Okay, so now you have your altimeter back on. So here comes here comes the part that's a little bit tricky. So you take your altimeter cover and this sits in this sits in there like this and you have to push it so it's all the way and make sure that this is flat in the window okay like we talked about if it if it's if it's like this the altimeter won't work and if it's like this the altimeter won't work it has to be flat so that when the fish is in the in the ocean this is parallel to the seafloor to get good echo readings put that in and then Take the screw and put it in the middle, in the middle. And we found that when attaching the cover, it's easiest to get the middle screws going first. So we make sure that this is all. So you get those two going, and then what you basically do is you go back with your other four. And you get them going as well. So I have this tool here that we use in the factory. It saves us a lot of time. So now you can see that we have the altimeter put back together, the whole nose put back together with the altimeter uh, um, option. It's flush, okay? And we have the cable cover in fully installed, and we have the pigtail with the um, with this, uh, connector for attaching to your tow cable out here so we're ready for service. So I'm putting it back up here. And there you go. So I hope this was helpful to you. And um, if you have any questions, you can certainly contact us at support at geometrics.com. Thank you.